Hi, welcome to the video Java Connect to Oracle Database with me, Nam Ming from Code Java.net. In this new video, you will learn how to create a table in Oracle Database. It's Brad Edition using uh, the Oracle SQL Developer Tool. And then you will learn how to use Oracle JDBC driver, uh, how to download, uh, Oracle JDBC driver and how to set up Maven dependency for Oracle JDBC driver and you will learn to write Java code that connects to an Oracle database server and then insert a new row to a table and get all rows from the table and finally close the connection. First, let's understand how a Java program can connect, can communicate to a database. This is our Java program, and this is Oracle database. In Java, we need to use the JDBC or Java database connectivity to work with any database. The JDBC API defines a common interfaces uh, to let Java program to talk with any databases and to work with a, a specific database like Oracle database we need to have a JDBC driver available in the project class part with Oracle we need to have Oracle JDBC driver or OJDBC and uh, the JDBC driver is a middle layer between the database and Java program. So in short, we need to use uh, Oracle JDBC driver to allow our Java program to connect to Oracle database. And to follow this video, uh, make sure that you have the following software programs installed on the computer. Java Development Kit JDK, Oracle Database Express uh, Edition, and the Oracle SQL Developer Tool, and Eclipse IDE to code a Java project and that uh, connects to Oracle Database. And here are some uh, resources for Oracle Database for the reference. Uh, first, uh, you may need to download and install Oracle Database Express Edition. It is uh, free. And this is a hyperlink to download the Oracle JDBC driver. It is also free. And this is a hyperlink to download uh, Oracle SQL Developer 2, a graphical user interface program that allows us to uh, manage uh, Oracle databases. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a table in the Oracle database uh, express server using Oracle SQL Developer 2. Uh, this is an installation directory of uh, SQL uh, Developer on my computer. And that will Click the SQL uh, Developer 2. And Oracle SQL Developer version 19. And by default, uh, the database connection name is uh, expressed or SE here. Click here to log in and before username is system and password is the password you specify when you install S uh, my Oracle or Express and database server. Okay to connect. Okay, it is connected to uh, Oracle uh, Express database server, and you can see 
the tables here. There are many tables in the database, mostly generated during the installation of uh, Oracle Database Express Edition. Now, let's create a new table. Right click here and new table. And here in this create table dialog, we specify the name the students. And the first column is uh, ID, data type, number, not no. And it is the primary key column. And click this um, plus button to add a new column. The second column is name. Vacha size is about 45, not no. The third column is um, email. Vacha size 45, not no. That's it. Very easy. Uh, the stu students table with three columns ID, name, and email. Click OK to create the table. And you can see the table of stu students appear here. And you can see there are three uh, columns ID, name, and email. And you can see the structure of the table here is a data here country it is empty and for uh, the id column of uh, the table we need to uh, have uh, generated values for this and primary column so we need to create a sequence and trigger for this uh, table so on the left you can see the uh, sequence section here and we create a new sequence new sequence and the name is uh, student underscore sequence start with one increment by one and mean value one mass value one million 10 million. Click OK to create the sequence. OK, and can we see the sequence, the student underscore sequence was created here. And now we need to uh, modify the table students. Double click here to create a trigger whenever a new row inserted to the table. Uh, automatically insert a value for the ID column. Trigger here. Yeah, action. Trigger here. Create a PK from sequence. Yeah. And here, yeah, specify the chica name. Student PK chica. Sequence name. Choose a sequence we have created. Uh, student sequence here. Column name is ID. And click apply. And we can see uh, the chica has been created successfully. That's it. That's now to create a simple table in uh, uh, Oracle or SQL during 2 with a sequence and a trigger next uh, let's create a Java project and write code to connect to uh, Oracle database server uh, this is Eclipse IDE on my computer you can see I'm using the version 2019 uh, September here now let's 
create a simple Java project in Eclipse IDE. New Java project. Project name is Java Oracle 1. You can see I'm using uh, JDK 11. Uh, finished. This uh, asking to create a new module uh, for Java 11. Don't create. Okay, so we have the project created here. Very simple. And create new uh, Java class. Name is uh, Java Oracle Test. And click this option to create the main method. And specify the package name is net.codejava. Okay, and click finish to create a Java class. You see. To connect to a database, uh, first we need to specify the database connection URL. Let's change DB URL. And for Oracle, uh, the format of the database URL is uh, like this. You see, JDBC colon Oracle colon, and then driver type and colon and etsa and the database name we can also specify the username and password in the database url like this and uh, oracle zdbc driver comes with different types of um, drivers you can see here teen driver for client side used without an oracle installation you know this is the uh, most uh, Popular driver tie. Use this driver tie when we have a Java program running on a computer different than the computer running Oracle database server. And the OCI driver type for client side use with an Oracle installation. That means uh, use this driver tie if. Um, so Java program and Oracle database server is on the same uh, computer. Similarly, is a server side team driver, same as team driver, that runs inside Oracle server to access the remote server. And the last driver type is server side internal driver that runs inside the target server. And this is a driver type we need to specify in the database uh, url and uh, in our program we will be using the teen driver so update the database url is uh, jdbc colon oracle colon and driver type is uh, let's see driver type is teen and database name is localhost XE XE is a database name or code database name and localhost is a host name of the database server which is running in the same computer And we need to specify the port number, the default port number of uh, Oracle database express is yeah, 1521. And then we specify username and password. Username is system, it is the default username and password. This is my password. 
and then we create a connection object from the package java.sql here connection and get connection from the driver manager class get connection and specify the connection url username and password This we this may throw exception, so to we need to surround this. Sorry, you see db url db url, and this may throw exceptions. Correct import correction from Java dot sql. This statement driver manager dot get connection may throw exception. So we need to surround with uh, try catch. Yeah, you see. If the program uh, connects to the database successfully, then the correction object uh, will be not no. Uh, else, uh, an SQL exception is thrown, and we print something in case of error. Oops. And we've been connected to Oracle database server. Now let's run this program. Hmm. Right click run as java application when we got an error here no suitable driver file for zbc uh, oracle team here that's because we don't have uh, the oracle zdbc driver or zdbc present in the project class part so we need to download the Oracle ZDBC driver. Yeah, this is a link to download the Oracle ZDBC driver. Uh, we can uh, Google in the uh, browser Google for Oracle ZBC driver Oracle ZDBC driver download and click the first result here Yeah, this is a ZBC download. No, this is an official Oracle ZDBC driver download. And as you can see, there are two uh, families of versions of Oracle ZDBC driver. First is for Oracle database version 19C and 18C, and the second is OZDBC for uh, Oracle database version 12C and 11Z. And uh, for that there are two versions: OZDBC 8 uh, for ZDK8 and OZDBC 10 for ZDK10. This is a download based of Oracle ZDBC driver and let's download the driver for uh, Oracle database 19C because I'm using Oracle database express uh, version 19 click here 
and you'll see here yeah, there are two versions of OZDBC OZDBC 10 for ZDK 10 or newer and OZDBC 8 for ZDK 8 so I click the hybrid for OZDBC 8 so sorry OZBC 10 here and we need to click here I give you an accept or coalition agreement and click the download button here and you need to have uh, Oracle account to download if you don't have an Oracle account you need to create one and I'm sign in okay and save the file on the location on my computer get a new folder Oh, JDBC. Save. The download has completed. And uh, so in folder. And you see there's a archive file here. And it track here. And you see under the old JDBC 10 directory. There are several draft files, and we need to, um, for a simple use case, we need to use only the file, the OZBC 10 here. Yeah. And in the project, yeah, uh, we Add that draft file to the project last part. So right click on project and properties and the view part here. Class part add external jars. Oh, ZDBC. Oh, ZDBC 10 and select the file. Oh, ZDBC 10 here. Open, apply and close. That's it, and you can see the uh, the reference library section here. We have uh, OZBC Oracle ZBC driver present in the cast part, and now let's uh, run the program again. Now we got the exception invalid Oracle URL specify, and you can see at Oracle.JDBC.Driver.Oracle driver. That means the Oracle JDBC driver is uh, running, and it uh, throws that exception. To fix the database URL, we need to have a colon after the tin here. Okay. And run the program again. Now you see it prints connected to Oracle database server. That's good, right? So we have uh, downloaded the Oracle JDBC driver or JDBC and record to connect to Oracle database server. Now let's record to insert a new row to a table in the Oracle database so now we need to specify the SQL insert statement to insert a new row to the database insert into our table name is uh, students and column names uh, name and email and 
values we specify value for name and email for example name is name uh, main and email is my email at my company dot com that's it this is a SQL statement to insert a new row to the student table with uh, name and email and then we create a new statement object statement statement from the connection connection create uh, statement here and then we execute uh, that statement a statement execute update for this kind of query insert or update we need to call execute update and passing the SQL statement and this method returns a, a number of rows affected so we need to assign to an integer variable rows equal statement not execute update then we check the value of row if a row is greater than zero that means uh, a row has been inserted successfully to the database so we print the message a row has been inserted that's it and after execute of the statement we need to close the statement close and close the connection or simply close the correction and also close the statement okay that's it and let's uh, test this uh, program first let's check the uh, table in the oracle sql 02 here you can see in the students table here data you see uh, empty now let's run this program now let's java application and you see it prints a row has been inserted now let's verify check in the database in the students table here click the refresh uh, button here and you can see a new row has been inserted uh, actually here name nam Haming and email address here very good right now let's uh, modify our program to insert another row to the database mm. this time we will be using a prepared statement we don't uh, specify the values uh, for the rows uh, directory in the um, sql statement instead we use a placeholder question mark for the value yeah you see so our sql uh, statement will looks like this insert into students name email and values with two question marks for the placeholders so for this kind of um, statement we need to create a prepare statement so correction prepare statement and passing the SQL statement and we need to change the type of the statement to prepare statement prepare statement import from the java.sql package and with this prepare statement we can set value uh, for the column statement set uh, for example um, for the column name is data type is vacha in java it is string so we use a set string method parameter index is the index of the column is index 2 in the table because index index 1 is the id column as you can see here column 
ID 1 is ID, ID 2 name, ID 3 email. And value is now, this time is John. It is a, a string. And the value for the second uh, parameter here is for email statement. Set email. Set string, for, sorry. Set string. Now this time the index of the column is index 3. And email is John and Johnny. Not Oh, and that's it. If we have um, a column of um, different data type, another data type, for example, number, we can call the statement set int for integer for number type. And because uh, our table have two columns of type, but uh, which is equivalent to string in Java, so we use a set string method and statement execute update with our uh, parameter. Okay, now let's run this program with a prepare statement like this. We got invalid column index. Uh, it's because the column index in the. Sorry, I'm very sorry. The column index here is the index of the column in the statement. In the SQL statement, index 1 here, index 2 here, not the index in the table. Sorry, I'm very sorry. Okay. So index one is for the name, index two for email. And let's run this uh, program again. And you see the message error has been inserted. Let's check in the database. Click the data tab here and refresh. And you see now the second row what inserted zone zone.org. Yeah. So far, you have learned to code a Java project that connects to a record database server and then insert a new row to a table and then close the connection by um, using a OJDBC driver as the Java file present in the project uh, class part. Now, let me show you how to create a second Java project using Maven. And I will show you how to set up Maven dependency to use what called ZDBC driver. And then we write code to get all rows from the table and then close the connection. So we we'll wait to Eclipse IDE and this time we uh, create a second project, project and choose Maven project here. Next. And check here to create a simple project. Next. And specify the group ID. Net.codeJava Oracle. For example, artifact ID is Java Oracle Maven version 1.0. And click uh, finish. And we got the second project created here, uh, Java Oracle Maven here. And you can see the default Java version 1.5 is 2.0, so we need to update. Uh, select uh, Java SE 11 here. Apply and close. And note that. Uh, Oracle ZDBC driver is not available on Maven Central repository due to Oracle's uh, restrict license policy. Uh, but uh, the Oracle ZDBC driver is available on uh, Oracle own repository, but it is very difficult and in 
convenient to use. So uh, if you want to use Maven or you have a project uh, based on Maven view, you need to include uh, dependency for Oracle JDBC driver. You need to use this workaround declare dependency and with the scope system and specify the system part point to the absolute part of the of the DBC draft right and like this so in our second project open the maven project file from html here and here we specify the dependency for um, Oracle ZDBC, but it is a local JAR file, not download from Maven uh, repository. Dependency your root ID is your root ID is com dot Oracle com dot Oracle and Artifact ID is oh, ZDBC tent and version 1.0. And here we need to specify the scope of this dependency is a system, meaning that it is a local file on the on computer. And then we need to specify the system part that point to the jar file. So we need to mm, copy the part of the jar file OJDBC here OJDBC 10 full here this is the part And this is a jar file name OJDBC OJDBC 10 dot jar. Okay, OJDBC 10 dot jar. Save. Okay, that's uh, how to add a dependency, Maven dependency for Oracle OJDBC driver. This is a workaround. And uh, for the code, we can copy code from our first project here. So copy this package, copy, paste to the Java source directory here, and then we modify the code. You see here, Java Oracle test, closes. And now this time we Mm, write code uh, to add all rows from the students table so we delete this code and the SQL statement is now the select statement select from students select all rows from students, so we use a asterisk uh, symbol here. And for this type of query, which uh, returns a uh, collection of results, we need to use result set object to get the return result from the query execution. But we need to Create a statement first. Statement equal connection. Uh, create statement. Create statement with the specify SQL statement and uh, statement execute query. Passing the SQL statement. Sorry, and for the SQL create statement we don't have any parameter and execute query this execute query method returns a result set so we assign the return value to a result set object result and we 
need to iterate through this result set to extract the values of columns in each row. So we use the while for loop, while result. Next, if the result has next row, we read the row and statement. And we read the value of the name column in the result. Result uh, at G. The column index E, column index 2 in the database for the column name. And we print out the name. For example, that's it, and let's run this program. Run next. In Java application. You can, so, you can see it prints two names, Nam Haming and Zone. That's exactly the values in the database, and you can see here Nam Haming and Zone. Go back to Eclipse IDE. And uh, let's update the code to print all email and name for all rows. And we read the value of the email column from the result. Mm, the data type of the email column is vacha or string in Java, so we also use the get string method. If it is a number, you can use the get int or get uh, float or get double. Basically, you can use various get method in the result set to extract the value of the columns based on its data type. Now, for email, and it's better to specify the column name instead of the index, so it is more readable. Name, and I have a counter to count the number of rows. Count equal zero. If it has row, we increase count by one and print count hmm. student count and then hmm. name and uh, email okay that's it and let's run the program again and you see now this time it prints student, student 1 now I mean student 2 zone very good right And let's mm, manually insert a new row in Oracle SQL Developer 2. For example, this uh, student name is uh, Zen and mail is zen at gmail.com. Okay. And run the program again. And you see this time it prints to three st students, Nama, Ming, Zone, and Zen. Very good, right? So that you have learned to code a Java project to connect to Oracle database. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and Please subscribe to my channel and like, comment and share my video. Thank you.